Amit, shall we go ahead? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Okay. Okay. Now uh, we have started with chapter number one, unit number one, that is data communication. And before we proceed, uh, let us quickly recap what we have seen in that is. Uh, so we have seen the syllabus structure first. In that we have seen two sections are there. Uh, section one, section two. In section one, we have three chapters based on uh, two different layer and the basic introduction. And then in section two, we have four more chapters. So that way, uh, total seven chapters are there. Uh, the syllabus structure goes with theory paper for seventy marks. Uh, Thirty more are for ISCs, that is internal examination, uh, in same examination, and then fifty marks POE is there, right? So I have already assured you that most of the uh, practical which we will be performing for this particular subject. So most of these practicals are uh, quite easy simulation based practicals only. So even though we get a month of time also, or even though we start off doing the practical one or one and half month late also, then also you will be able to uh, get all the practicals and perform all the practicals properly. It is not like your uh, ECAD practicals where you have to install everything and then uh, you can go ahead with. It. There is no. Uh, heavy connections as such, so it's a very very simple uh, set of practicals that we will be performing. Then we have seen uh, chapter number one. In that, uh, these are the contents. One uh, network, why it is needed, what is the need of networking. So what we have seen in that is, uh, whenever we go ahead with the distributed system, where whatever the task that we are supposed to perform. If multiple uh, candidates are performing, or multiple programmers are going to complete that particular task, then in order to reduce the complexity of the system, we go ahead with the uh, networking where we divide that particular task into uh, several people, so same resources can be shared by each and every person, and they can then individually work on each and every module. Then there come next we have seen uh, yesterday only called as layers or layered communication. Uh, Rushikesh Mure, uh, you should not be late from next lecture onwards. Right? Uh, report on time. Are you in, Rushikesh? Mure. More, can you hear me? Okay, fine. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Then uh, we have seen layered communication, and in that also we have seen a big task is divided into uh, sub task or sub modules, and then each and every person which is part of that uh, programming team or part of that uh, entire uh, system can work individually on same set of data. So that the task will become easier, system complexity will reduce, and uh, ISO uh, organization has suggested for the first time, whenever this computer uh, communication network uh, concept come into the picture, ISO uh, is the one which comes with a reference model. This is not the model with which the entire communication system works. It is just the plot. It is just the set of rules. With which uh, the entire communication uh, hierarchy goes forward. So that model itself, we call it as a OSI reference model. So in that OSI reference model, uh, here we have seen there are total uh, seven layers which are part of the module. And when we start from transmitter to receiver, so if we start from transmitter end, then application layer will be the first layer. And if we start from receiver end, then physical layer will be its a first layer. So that way, total seven layers are there: application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, uh, network layer, data link layer, and physical layer. Now here, uh, it is not like uh, it is it is uh, uh, denoted by different colors also. Like last bottom three layers are denoted with white color. 
uh, transport layer is denoted with pink color background and above three layers are denoted with gray color is it is not only for design it has a specific purpose that the bottom three layer are completely isolated those who work with hop to hop delivery now hop to hop delivery that means they uh, work within a constraint of two different nodes manje don node cha madhe ja vas aplyala data transfer karaycha asel don entities cha madhe ja vas data transfer karaycha asel tar पूर्ण हार्डवेर इनेबल्ड जे कई लेयर्स फिजिकल डेटा लिंक एंड नेटवर्क लेयर सो बॉटम थ्री लेयर जो है लेयर्स वेर मोस्टली हार्डवेर पार्क विल कम इन टू द पिक्चर ऑब्विस्ली देर देर विल बी प्रोग्रामिंग नीडेड बट इट विल बी वेरी लिटल सो मोस्ट ऑफ दी हार्डवेर लेयर दैट विल कम्स अप टू फर्स्ट थ्री लेयर्स देन देर विल बी दी ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर नो ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर इज द ब्रेक थ्रू हिस्सर now transport layer comprises of both like it support hardware also and it require the software stuff also so transport layer hi je ahe hi border over chi layer ahe ani tacha varcha ja sagle layers astil that is session layer presentation and application layer most of these layers they are more inclined towards the software part rather than that of the hardware part so maximum if you see uh, below transport layer there is the hardware implementation of the networking and above that there will be the software implementation for the networking and not only that if you can see this particular diagram here you will understand that between the interfaces like here you can see from physical to physical there just minute so from physical to physical there is a hopping that there is a link between two physical layer similarly whenever two data link layer need to be connected then from two one then here one and two that way data link uh, layer from one hop to the next hop it can get connected similarly for the network layer that means hop to hop means between two nodes the connection can be carried out that is what is happening between the physical data link and network layer while once you transfer to the next layer that is transport layer it is no more a hop to hop connection now hop to hop connection here means what exactly do we understand by hop to hop that means between two nodes or between two machines abhilasha kale next time onwards this will not be allowed huh? you should report on time now hop to hop connection that means between two nodes between two machine the connection is established like here let me give a simple example so that you will easily understand yes now on the in this particular slide if you see uh, this 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 thing here is a machine which is connected with this machine so whatever the connection happen hello hello sir ppt is not visible you are not able to see the ppt okay ha ah, yes just, sir just just uh, can you pin uh, can you pin point to my uh, name which is at the bottom side in you starts with d majhe now majhe login don login at majhe ek me audio sathi thevle dusra visual sathi thevlele sir visual login is not there uh खाली एकदम बॉटम ल स्क्रोल कर नो सर एक मिनट कधी पास कनेक्शन ग्री मिनिट सर हाँ सर लगे संगत चला बर
okay upendra are you able to see sir yes yes now your second number is visible but ppt is not there sir. okay is it visible now no sir only name your name is visible now no yes, no yes sir yes sir you you need to go down with the manager yes sir yes stay there or whatever stay down there ha sir this the sir now it is visible sir yes yes ha okay. ah, yes sir now okay. it is visible okay tanjay now... uh, thank you sir okay is it visible for everyone right i assume that if if nobody can see just ping me right okay now here you can see what i was saying is uh, when we say uh, hop to hop delivery or host to host delivery it assume that here you can see this is a machine computer is connected with this computer so a connection between two machines is called as hop to hop or host to host delivery now when we talk about host to host delivery the bottom three layers that is uh, the physical layer then uh, data link layer and network layer these three layers are responsible from a connection between one machine to another machine getting it what i'm trying to say so eka machine pasun dusra machine paryant che je connections astil te sagle jabadari asta tumcha uh, data link physical ani network layer chi pan tyacha work cha ja sagla layer chalu hota manje kutla जस ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर जो चालू होते तो ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर इज बेसिकली डील विथ प्रोसेस टू प्रोसेस डिलिवरी तो जो डेटा है तो इधन जो चल इतना दसे कि प्रोसेस मध्य या मशीन वरती जर समा अपन ट्रांसमीटर पकड़ इफ दिस इज अ ट्रांसमीटर देर विल बी सम प्रोसेस रनिंग ऑन दिस ट्रांसमीटर इत समा गुगल क्रोम ओपन के लिए हा गुगल क्रोम मधुन निगुन डायरेक्टली कनेक्शन हा पीसी पर्यत जाऊसी प्रोसेस चालू है प्रोसेस पर्यत जी डिवरी जी होस्ट टू होस्ट कि हॉप टू हॉप कि मशीन टू मशीन न रहता हि डिवरी होते प्रोसेस टू प्रोसेस डिलिवरी एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज व्री वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट दैट फ्रॉम ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर ऑनवर्ड्स ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर पुढ़ा ज्यादा सगर्स है हा सग लेयर्स अपन वेगड़ा कलर मी आईडेंटिफाई करते इत इत दाखता ना बी ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर पर्यत इतपर्यत फाइट कलर दाखिल है कि जे संगत मशीन टू मशीन डिलिवरी होते ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर पास वरती जे सगर्स है तथ प्रोसेस टू प्रोसेस डिलिवरी होते एंड दैट इज वॉज दी मेन डिफरन्स बिट्वीन दी जस्ट रिकॉर्ड इट इट्स रिकॉर्डिंग इज ऑन ओके Okay. So, do you understand now the difference between the uh, process to process delivery and uh, machine to machine or hop to hop delivery? Can anybody? Who is not clear? Man, I can proceed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, this is what uh, the main difference between the uh, the layers below transport and layers above transport layer. then uh, this is how it has been uh, denoted here also you can see like till this point there are some hops which are shown like ithe jar dakhole na he ashe loop madhe system tumhala sagle dakhalele ahet pan ithun jar je connections astel he directly process to process uh, process connections ahet process to process interfaces ahet right so ithe intermediate node cha kai vishay yet nahi then we have seen this particular part also in last lecture that whenever a data starts flowing from one transmitter end and it is to be reached at the receiving end every time the data passes from one end to another end uh, then it will be added with certain header so like from d7 to d6 d7 header will be added from d7 to uh, d5 then h6 header will be added so likewise whenever we proceed that Uh, from upper layer to lo lower layer then the headers keep on getting added and that is what we uh, referred as a uh, layered architecture inside the uh, just a minute okay so layered architecture inside the uh, osi reference model where every layer will add its own header into the uh, data and that way the data length which is very less you can observe here that length it will keep on increasing as you proceed further then this part also 
ओके आय एम ऑडिबल राईट आपलं ऐकू येत सगळ्यांना आणि दिसतय पण राईट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट today that we have uh, i have decided to cover that is nothing but the tcp ip protocol suite now this is uh, something uh, which was developed well prior to isi uh, osi reference model i uh, and but uh, the it it does not exactly match with that of the tcp ip model or tcp ip sorry osi reference model so tcp ip protocol suite at the kitchen now model sir it is basically a protocol suite that means it is not a theory theoretical part it is not something that uh, it is uh, it is it is a theory part which is uh, given for basic understanding of student ye asa nahi hai tcp ip cha protocol suite ha actually practically kasha paddhatina uh, data flow hoto kasha paddhatina layers architecture kaam karta that way this tcp ip protocol suite is giving giving all all the details to you now protocol here the word protocol here means it is certain set of rules which are defined for each and every layer so tcp ip protocol suite was the uh, is the most important uh, protocol suite or it is the we can say fundamental of any computer networking based on which only every network has been established osi reference model hai नेटवर्किंग कसं होतं किंवा प्रत्येक लेअरचं काम काय असतं किंवा लेअर आर्किटेक्चर काय असतं हे समजायला सोपं जाईल तुम्हाला ओएस आय रेफरन्स मॉडेलच्या आधारे पण ज्यावेळेस ऍक्च्युअल नेटवर्किंग मध्ये एक्स्टॅब्लिश करायचंय किंवा नेटवर्क आपल्याला एखाद्या ठिकाणी इन्स्टॉल करून एक्स्टॅब्लिश करायचंय तर त्यावेळेस अंडरस्टँडिंगसाठी किंवा त्याच्यासाठी लागणारे जे प्रोटोकॉल्स असतील दोज प्रोटोकॉल्स बीन डिराइव बाय दी टीसीपी आय पी प्रोटोकॉल सूट ओनली and that is the reason why this proto uh, tcp ip is very very uh, important uh, protocol suit that is needed for the uh, computer networking and that is why it is written as the original tcp ip protocol suit uh, was actually it previously it was designed for four software layers which are built on the hardware but later on uh, we have split those four layers into five different layers so तर मग तुम्ही म्हणाल की ओएसआय रेफरन्स मॉडेल शिकायचं कशाला तर ओएसआय रेफरन्स मॉडेल ज्या वेळेस तुम्हाला एकदा समजेल की नेमकं सात लेअरचं काम काय असतं म्हणजे फिजिकलनी काय काम करायचं डेटा लिंक लेअरनी काम काय करायचं असं करत करत ऍप्लिकेशन लेअरचं पर्यंतचं काम काय आहे वन्स यू अंडरस्टँड दिस देन इट इज व्हेरी इझी टू अंडरस्टँड द टीसीपी आय पी प्रोटोकॉल सूट बेस्ड ऑन विच बेस्ड ऑन विच युअर एंटायर नेटवर्क स्ट्रक्चर इज बीन बिल्ट मग ह्याच्यामध्ये लेअर कोणकोणत्या आहेत तर ह्याच्यामध्ये लेअर आधी आधीच्या ओल्ड टीसीपी आय पी मॉड्यूल मध्ये होत्या नेटवर्क इंटरफेस ज्याच्यामध्ये दोन लेअर मर्ज केले होते फिजिकल आणि डेटा लिंक त्याच्यानंतरची लेअर होती नेटवर्क लेअर नाव नेटवर्क लेअर ही सॉरी इंटरनेट लेअर अँड इंटरनेट लेअर म्हणजेच आपली नेटवर्क लेअर होती ट्रान्सपोर्टला नाव ट्रान्सपोर्टच ठेवलेलं आहे आणि ऍप्लिकेशन लेअर नाव ऍप्लिकेशन लेअर ही डायरेक्टली त्यांनी तिथे ऍड केली मधल्या दोन लेअर खाल्ल्या त्यांनी सेशन लेअर आणि प्रेझेंटेशन लेअर खाल्ल्या या दोन्ही लेअर ह्या कंबाईन करून एकाच ऍप्लिकेशन लेअर मध्ये ऍड केलेल्या होत्या सो जर तुम्ही थोडस ह्या प्रोटोकॉल सूट कडे पाठ करायच्या दृष्टीने किंवा समजून घ्यायच्या दृष्टीने बघितलात तर लक्षात घ्यायचं खालच्या दोन लेअर मर्ज केल्या की त्याची होती नेटवर्क इंटरफेस लेअर ज्याच्यामध्ये फिजिकल आणि डेटा लिंक लेअर येतं मध्ये राहिल्या नेटवर्क आणि ट्रान्सपोर्ट त्या आहेत अशा राहतील फक्त नेटवर्कचं नाव बदलून झालेलं असेल इंटरनेट लेअर आणि शेवटच्या ज्या तीन लेअर होत्या ज्याच्यामध्ये होत सेशन लेअर प्रेझेंटेशन लेअर आणि ऍप्लिकेशन लेअर त्याचं मिळून त्यांनी एकच लेअर केली होती त्याला त्यांनी नाव दिलं ऍप्लिकेशन लेअर आणि त्याच्यानंतर जो आर्किटेक्चर डिफाईन झाला किंवा जे चेंजेस झाले टीसीपी आय पी मध्ये त्यांनी चार लेअरच्या ऐवजी पाच लेअर केल्या आणि हा चेंज काय केला फक्त वन चेंज रादर टू चेंजेस विथ दे वेअर मेड 
that is internet layer is been renamed as network layer only so that it can easily link with the osi reference model and network interface layer as it is now thevlo hota tela teni banavun dile data link layer and physical layer so in short osi reference model madhe ahet seven layers ani tcp ip madhe ahet only five layers ani kasa match kasa zale tar tcp ip cha tcp ip madhe je application layer ahe the application layer the osi reference model cha sat layer paiki जो शेवट का तीन लेयर होते इक्वली है इतनी एप्लिकेशन लेयर टीसीपीआईपी ची है सेशन प्रेजेंटेशन एंड एप्लिकेशन लेयर ऑफ ओएसआर रेफरेंस मॉडल बाकी अदर लेयर्स एक्जैक्टली रिमेन सेम एंड हियर यू कैन सी द डिटेल कंपैरिजन बिटवीन दी ओएसआई एंड टीसीपीआईपी प्रोटोकॉल सूट हियर वॉट आई हेव शोन यू total seven layers for osi reference model starts with physical data link network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer and application layer while this colorful uh, four layer diagram it is written where the first last two is been converted into the uh, the protocol defined by the underlying network layer or which is combination of physical and uh, data link layer Uh, network layer is called as ip layer or internet protocol layer then transport layer remain as it is transport layer and application presentation and session all together combinedly called as an application layer only and whatever the boxes which is which have been kept here whatever the uh, like here in ip there are four names icmp igmp a uh, rarp arp here uh, sctp tcp udp and here are few uh, other uh, application like smtp ftp http dns uh, snmp and telnet so all these applications which are been mentioned here those are actually the protocols used in those layers only manje ya pratyek layer madhe kon kon te protocol hai ata protocol shabda cha artha kay sangitla प्रोटोकॉल इज नथिंग बट सेट ऑफ रूल्स हा लेर को सेट ऑफ रूल फॉलो करता सेट ऑफ रूल वर्क करता दो सेट ऑफ रूल्स आर गिवन और डिफाइंड हियर विच आर लाइक इन नेटवर्क लेयर ए आर पी एंड आर ए आर पी दिस इज रिटेड टू एड्रेसिंग एंड हियर आई सी एम पी एंड आई जी एम पी here we have tcp and udp uh, fortunately or unfortunately whatever you want to say but uh, yes ctp is not part of syllabus so in transport layer you have to deal with only two layers that is tcp and udp and then at application layer we have several uh, different different uh, protocols like smtp simple mail transfer protocol ftp http Uh, dns SM, S, snmp telnet so all these details we need to see when we reach to those chapters directly like in application layer in last chapter only you will come across this uh, in third chapter you will come across udp and tcp uh, then in uh, third chapter itself you will come across rrp arp and in fourth somewhere igmp icmp so that way in each of the chapter you will come across all these protocols so in short uh, if we if we wish to compare uh, the osi reference model and tcp uh, protocol suit see this uh, the words itself indicate osi is a reference model while tcp ip is a protocol suit that means osi is just a model it is just a, it, it just a uh, model based on which Uh, the theoretical part of networking can be understood while tcp ip is a protocol suit that means actually when we go ahead with uh, dealing with the networking understanding of the networking establishment or uh, designing the networking then we need to deal with different different protocols different different set of rules and there osi will not help us osi will help us to understand the things but tcp ip will help us to actually build the things so tcp ip aplyala actually uh, design karnyasathi kiwa uh, actually network build karnyasathi kamala yeil ani mhanun 
uh, I would rather say OSI is a theoretical stuff, right? TCP/IP is a practical stuff. Getting it? Shall we proceed? Or uh, if if you uh, okay, if sir. you want to ask something, you can right. Just unmute yourself and ask. Because this is the basic building block of networking. Once you understand this, once you understand uh, the uh, working of every individual layer, the rest is just protocols. The rest is just like you need to uh, understand uh, what layer, what rules to be applied, or what rule will be applicable. Right. Uh, I'll just close the door. Huh? Some noise is there. Okay, uh, I am audible. PPT is also visible, visible, right? Okay, yes, it is. Now, uh, now let us go ahead to the next part. That is network topology. Like if we if we go with this bit, uh, we might end this chapter by today, right? By today, we can finish with this chapter. Network topology we have already reached. This particular part we have already seen. So if you're not writing or if you're not taking down the notes, syllabus is running very fast. Right. I'm audible again. Let me check. Yes, sir, audible. Okay. Now, uh, next, uh, rather the last part is uh, the network topology. Now, uh, topology is nothing but the way we uh, maintain the connections, the way we lay out the network. That means, uh, if if suppose uh, like uh, you people might have uh, played some games also in this lockdown period. Like uh, I still recall the uh, the games that that I I or my some cousins used to play uh, with the matchsticks. गुगल ऐप स्टोर गेम्स अवेलेबल है सपोज ते का एक अंक देता मग संगत एक मूव कर अचीव करा कि स्ट्रक्चर अचीव करा दैट वे सो इट इज जस्ट दी गेम विच टेल यू हाउ यू कैन Uh, connect each and every node. How you can reach out to that particular node by replacing some connections or by making some connections out. So topology is nothing but it is the way the way we uh, the way we lay out the network. Suppose we have uh, five machine to be connected in a room. Then the the way uh, we connect those machines or the way we keep those machines at a certain location. With the help of which we can save some one, uh, the length of the wire, or uh, we can uh, install certain hub or switch in between, or we can directly uh, go ahead with connecting each machine with all the machines directly with a physical wire. That means how exactly we connect a machine in a network. That is what do we understand by topology. Topology शब्द जो simple अर्थ है कि अपन नेटवर्क कस बनवत कस बनवत कस फिजिकली एकमेक प्रत्येक सीस्टीम कनेक्ट करते सो बेसिकली टोपोलॉजी इज द वे ऑफ लेइंग आउट अ नेटवर्क टोपोलॉजीज कैन बी आईदर फिजिकल और लॉजिकल नाउ फिजिकल और लॉजिकल दैट मीन्स फिजिकल मीन्स द वे वी हैव ले आउट द कनेक्शन द वे वी हैव लेड द केबल फ्रॉम वन मशीन टू दी अनदर मशीन and when we go ahead with the logical topologies it is the way how the message is been traveled from one machine to the another machine within the given network ekas network madhe jar samjha aplya kade panch machine astil tar te panch machine madhya madhya machine la jar apan message dila tar to message tin number cha kiwa panch char number kiwa don number kiwa ek number cha machine paryanta to message kasa travel hu shakto 
if if they are connected in circle whether it will reach from 4 5 and then to 1 or from 2 uh, and then directly 1 so message kasa pass on ho to that is called as a logical topologist and ek me kana wire ni connections kashe dilele aste that is called as a physical topologist so topology shabda cha simple arth hai ki network कस तैयार नेटवर्क कस ले आउट के इवन तुम पीसीबी मध्य जो तुम्हें ट्रैक्स बनता वेन एवर यू डिजाइन एनी पीसीबी वॉट एवर ट्रैक्स दैट आर कनेक्टिंग दी कॉम्पोन दैट इज ऑल्सो दी ले आउट ऑफ द नेटवर्क यू कैन से नाउ डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वे वी मेक आउट दी कनेक्शन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ वी फिजिकली कनेक्ट दी सीस्टम विच इच अदर do depending upon that we have four uh, popular uh, topologies those are mesh topology star topology bus topology and then lastly is the ring topology so let us go ahead with studying uh, each topology one by one so to begin with we'll start with the bus topology as the name itself indicate there will be a thick cable connected uh, as a common cable which will have Uh, uh, termination uh, at both the ends. Like here, here also it has an end. Here also it has an end. And whenever the, and the stations are connected or the machines are connected with different taps which are connected to that wire. So a single wire is laid in common, and then whoever needs the connection. it will lay out a tap at that particular junction or at that particular uh, position this is same as like your water connections uh, given by the municipal corporation uh, municipal party municipal ten is the connections dile ga sa jase ek as tancha pipe tumcha colony cha samorun kiwa madhun kutun tari jato ani javas tumhala gharat connection hove astel tar tumhi ta pipe la cut karta madhe ek t joint basavta ani mag tumcha gharamadhe to एक एक अर्धा इंच पाव इंच जे एक पाइप टाकून तुम्हारे घर मे वॉटर कनेक्शन इट इज जस्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ टोपोलॉजी ओनली सो विथ बस टोपोलॉजी इट इज वन ऑफ दी सीम्पलेस्ट टोपोलॉजी एंड वेरी वेरी इकोनॉमिकल लाइक यू डोंट हैव टू गो अड विथ ह्यूज एक्सपेन्सेस फॉर लेइंग डाउन दी केबल्स इट इज जस्ट कन्सिस्टिंग ऑफ अ सिंगल केबल एंड हु एवर वॉन्ट्स टू एड टू दी नेटवर्क ही हिमसेल्फ हैज टू मेक आउट अ कनेक्शन to the main network and then or main cable and then uh, the connection can be uh, given to that particular machine now how the message will travel here like how uh, certain uh, machines which are part of like say for example here we have three station if this station has uh, wish to have in communication with this station here so what it will do is it will um, uh, form a data packet here and it will attach an address of this station and throw the packet on this line once the packet is thrown on this line the packet will travel once the packet reach out here at middle station then this station here we able to see right arrow marking and all hello arrow mark yes yes ha okay या स्टेशन पास ज्यास एक पैकेट पैकेट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दिस स्टेशन व्हिच हैज एड्रेस ऑफ लास्ट स्टेशन सो वंस पैकेट ट्रैवल एंड मिडल स्टेशन चेक द पैकेट इट विल लुक फॉर द एड्रेस पार्क ओनली इफ द एड्रेस रिटर्न इज नॉट ऑफ दिस स्टेशन दिस स्टेशन नाउ इमिजिएटली डिस्कार्ड द पैकेज इट विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट पैकेट एंड इट विल थ्रो द पैकेट ऑन द सेम केबल ओनली एंड देन द the packet will travel to this particular tap once this station check this packet check the address if it matches with its, its own address it will accept the packet and then communication will be over and this way every station every station who is participating in the network will check each and every message once that packet is verified by the address of its own then only it will accept otherwise it will uh for the packet on the line and this is how the communication uh, work in this bus topology then it has several disadvantages like as i like i have given you an example of water connection bus topology just like your water connection only and you know how hard it is to 
गेटो वॉटर टैप विच इज सैंक्शन बाय म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन हाँ महानगर पालिके मधु जर तुम्हें कभी हाँ तुम्हें के बट यू कैन आस्क युअर पैरेंट्स कि नाच कनेक्शन मिलने कितनी डिफिकल्ट एंड दैट इज वाई फर्स्ट डिसेज ऑफ बस टोपोलॉजी इज इट इज व्री डिफिकल्ट टू एड अ वर्क स्टेशन बिकॉज पूर्ण नेटवर्क लाइन चाहना स्टॉपेज घता एंड देन दे हैव टू दे हैव दैट कनेक्शन देन अकॉर्डिंगली एवरी मशीन नीड टू अपडेट देअर एड्रेसिंग मेकनिजम एज वेल बिकॉज न्यू नोट इज एडेड सो प्रत्येका एड्रेस अपडेट करा लगे एंड देन ओनली दैट न्यू मशीन कूड बी पार्ट ऑफ द नेटवर्क then next disadvantage is uh, we have to completely reroute the cable and possibly run to additional length of it like say for example ekad uh, packet second number cha machine ni send kelele je ahe number 1 machine sathi pan teche direction of the flow decided rahto to ja paddhatine jato suppose 10 nodes aste tar it will travel all the way to the 10th node and it will return back again all the way to back and that way the length of travel could be very high and because of which the speed of this particular connection will also be less and last disadvantage and major disadvantage is what if the cable breaks so entire communication depend upon the main bus or main cable and if that cable itself fails or has some cut obviously the entire communication network will be collapsed and that is the reason why uh, it is very very expensive to maintain it because uh, a, a small disturbances into that cable cannot be uh, like it is not at all preferable and that is why burst topology is very rarely used then have the next topology which is very famous topology and a uh, very popular one also because it is like even in your classroom or rather in practical rooms whatever the connections that we make most of the lands are connected with this kind of topology only where uh, there will be an intelligent device which is which can be a hub or which can be a switch so such intelligent device is installed in a room and then every station is not connected to every other station you here you can see the stations are not connected with each other every station is connected with the hub and whatever communication happen it will happen to that hub only so it is just like there will be a commander to whom everybody will report and the the communication will take place yeah जस्ट मिनट हेलो ओके सॉरी फॉर द डिस्टर्बेंस थोड़ा फवार नहीं चाल है कॉलेज मध्य ओके नाउ वॉट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट इज देर देर विल बी एन इंटेलिजेंट डिवाइस एट द सेंटर एंड विच इज थ्रू होम द एवरी कनेक्शन विल बी टूक प्लेस लाइक थ्रू होम एवरी कम्युनिकेशन विल टूक प्लेस सपोज दिस स्टेशन हैज टू कम्युनिकेट विद दिस स्टेशन बट दे के नॉट कम्युनिकेट डायरेक्टली it has to go through the hub and then only it is very much possible for them to have interaction and uh, obviously uh, it will be expensive a bit because uh, it has to install this uh, hub this will be an expensive machine because it also needs some intelligence because uh, it it has to store all the addresses of this machine and whenever uh, certain packets comes to this hub it has to recognize that packet and it has to also understood uh, understand that where to route that particular packet so it has to have the knowledge of uh, understanding the addressing mechanism understand the routing mechanism and it also need to understand the flow control mechanism as well because it has to check because all station will not be same or operating at the same speed so depending upon speed of every network uh, every machine it has to trans uh, start transmitting the data right 
you are getting it right voice is audible screen is visible yes sir okay so uh, star topology uh, the key features a physical star uh, topology uh, branches each network device of a central device called as a hub making it easy to add a new connection now here there, there won't be any problem because there will be certain ports available to that hub switches so that any port can be new port can be uh, any new machine can be added or deleted it won't affect the entire network then workstation uh, even if any workstation goes down suppose kutle ekada machine band padla tar tani network parti kutlaas parinam honar nahi then uh, there are few disadvantages for the star topology as i told you it because it is very expensive to install uh, this kind of mechanism uh, because it it need an expensive uh, device intelligent device which can understand Uh, the addressing mechanism uh, flow control mechanism as well then uh, there will be next topology called it as a ring topology now as the name itself indicate every station will be connected to two different station nearby like it will have two ports it is connected to this uh, uh, left side of the station and then connected to the right side of the station similarly it will also connect with two different nodes so this way each network is connected with two different nodes and ultimately they will be forming one circular path or a ring path and that is the reason why it is called as a ring topology so can you guess like what would be the disadvantage of this first before going into advantages so disadvantage would be if the ring breaks station, then uh, yes, entire yes, yes. Uh, exactly if any station fails if any machine fails the entire network will get collapse then it will be very difficult to maintain flow also because uh, not necessary all the uh, machines which is taking part into the communication would have the same configuration so ring topology basically very uh, uh, like less expensive because it just need some wires to go ahead with the connection in circular manner only but uh, when when the ring breaks there would be a big uh, collapse into the network so the ring makes it difficult to add a new computer unlike a star topology the ring topology network will go down if one entity is removed from the ring so obviously that will happen and physically uh, ring physical ring topology system don't exist much anymore mainly because of the hardware involved was fairly expensive and fault tolerance uh, was very low now here reason is like if you would have seen uh, how how do we connect the uh, machine to the network apan aple pc la network shi jodto kas there will be ethernet port right so ethernet port tumcha kade available asel jecha madhe tumhi ti rs rj45 chi cable at madhe takta ani networking chi network shi tumcha machine connect hota but if you need such two ports two different ports to get connected asha machines bagitlet ka kuda those are very rare ki jala don don port astel ani te doni side na connect hote and that is why it is very rarely used karan don don port manage karna mhanje tela don ethernet card lag ani tacha nantar na aplyala te connection maintain karayla lage so it is very expensive and we don't fairly go into it then last topology and which is very uh, complex topology will be the mesh topology now as you can see here uh, Uh, like if we talk about cost of the cable it is very less but if we talk about cost of hardware of the station or that computer it will be the cost will be very very high so what happen in a mesh topology topology is every station like take example of this station sorry this station <coughs> is need to connect connect with four other station then from this station there will be one two three and four cables passing which is the individual cable or a dedicated cable to connect with every other station similarly this station will also have 1 2 3 4 similar with this station similar with this and similar with this station as well now when this happen there are very huge amount of advantages what are, what are the advantages that there won't be any problem of failure of the network even if one link fail 
it doesn't matter there will be some alternating link to reach out to that particular network so if one one of the machine fails it doesn't hamper the entire network at all each and everybody can com- communicate through every possible link uh, which is present or which is available so this is the dis- uh, advantage then there will be a huge advantage that there will not be any need for flow control or access control manje ha channel koni vaparacha jaso atta paryanta cha itha asel samja ata he ekmekala connect ahet sagle pan network varti kiwa ya purna cable varti packet koni takaycha he kon decide karna who will decide that station 1 or this station wish to communicate with this station then at the same time it is very much possible that this station wish to communicate with this station so who is going to access the network that would be a biggest problem in ring topology similarly there will be problem with the star topology who want to go first who want to get involved into the communication first that will be the problem with all the topologies except mesh topology because everybody will have a dedicated link a dedicated channel so each and every one can communicate with every other machine independently or irrespective of whether the network is available or not available so this is very very effective topology if and only if you the number of nodes connected into the network are less but if number of nodes connected into the network are less we won't be needing the entire concept of networking so as per as complexity is concerned this is the biggest complex topology that is mesh topology because there will be a huge mesh of cables you just try to figure out if uh, your cad lab 2 has 40 pieces and you try to imagine uh, that machine will have uh, to connect with every other machine that means one machine will have or we require 39 ports प्रत्येक मशीन लाइस पोर्ट लगते वायर एक मशीन मधुन जी पूर्ण चाईस मशीन लाइस एक सीती फायरिंग ने भर सो इट इज नॉट एट ऑल फिजिबल टू गो अड विथ यूजिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ टोपोलॉजी सो नंबर ऑफ केबल्स वुड रिक्वायर्ड वुड बी गिवन एज इफ एक्स कंप्यूटर आर देर इट वुड बी एक्स इन टू एक्स माइनस वाई डिवाइडेड बाई टू दीज मेनी केबल्स विल बी requires so, so even here uh, some example is taken if five machines are there then total 10 number of cables will be required and similarly if six machines are there then uh, almost 15 cables will be required and this way if number of machines increases number of cables will keep on increasing now here uh, a simple example is given if 50 machines are there total number of wires required is 1225 which is a huge number so mesh te- topology is basically a big mess you cannot go ahead with the, that particular topology and then last topology is nothing but your hybrid topology where you can go ahead with mixture of all the topologies like here uh, bus bus topology rushikesh more kya zala aawaz mute kar more okay so uh, these stations are connected in bus these stations are connected in bus but they are basically connected in the star topology this way we can have a, a hybrid topology connected rushkesh more mute yourself immediately so uh, like in, you can have uh, this snapshot for this uh, this is the uh, comparison between the different topologies so uh, bus star ring and mesh so in in small we have already discussed this out uh, what will be the advantages and what will be the disadvantages of each of those so with this uh, your chapter is over so chapter number 1 is over for ccn now next all here are the uh, revision part of uh, what is the function of each and every network layer 
so maybe when we start uh, tomorrow with the fresh uh, fresh lecture then we will start with this topic itself we will start from uh, physical layer and then we will go ahead with the next uh, topic or next chapter which is nothing but the data link layer are you clear with this now okay sir okay so just give me a minute and I'll, i'll take the attendance i'll check whether the attendance is marked automatically if not i have to take it stop presenting हेलो हाँ अमित यस सर ओके सो नाउ लिसन एवरीवन व्हाट आई डू इज आई रीड दी रोल नंबर्स व्हिच आर देयर अवेलेबल ऑन माय स्क्रीन ऑटोमेटिक अटेंडेंस इज देयर सो इफ एनीबॉडी मिस आउट फ्रॉम दिस रोल नंबर्स जस्ट टेल मी जस्ट टेल मी योर रोल नंबर राइट जस्ट लिसन इट केयरफुली नाउ थर्टी टू रोल नंबर सुशांत अलदार थर्टीन रोल नंबर श्रद्धा मिर्गने 19 रोल नंबर निकिता फुलारे 20 मनाली राजमाने uh, 12 ऐश्वर्या ममाने 25 प्रतीक्षा वागस 29 निकिता एगड़े 30 मयूरी लोखंडे 53 संतोष उबाड़े इलेवन श्वेता 16 दीपिका 17 गीता uh, 18 अश्विनी 24 मोनाली ट्वेंटी फोर मोनाली ट्वेंटी सिक्स सोनाली ट्वेंटी सेवन स्मिता फिफ्टी सिक्स अशतोष फिफ्टी फाइव आकाश यलमार किरण पाटिल युअर रोल नंबर इज फिफ्टी सेवन राइट प्राजक्ता नागने प्राजक्ता वॉट इज युअर रोल नंबर प्राजक्ता नागने थर्टी वन थर्टी वन ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम यू शुड राइट इट राइट थर्टी सेवन उपेंद्र थर्टी एट गौरव फोर्टी फाइव सलमान फोर्टी नाइन संजय ट्वेंटी टू जानवी ट्वेंटी थ्री अमृता थर्टी फोर भूषण थर्टी फाइव अमित थर्टी सिक्स स्वप्निल फोर्टीन कोमल फिफ्टीन सौजन्या टू ऋतुजा ट्वेंटी वन श्रद्धा फाइव सुरेखा सिक्स संजीवनी एट कोमल नाइन निशा टेन इशिता थ्री स्नेहल एंड फोर अश्विनी घुगे Okay, is there anybody left? Roll number seven, sir. Roll number seven. Just a minute. Okay, A seven. What is your name? Abhilasha Kari. Abhilasha Kari. You are late joining, isn't it, Abhilasha? नहीं करेटेश मोबाइल बाहर गायब होता का 
नाही सर थोडं बाहेर होत तसंच असत थोडं नाही पूर्ण राहायचं कॉलेज मध्ये आता व्हर्च्युअली नेक्स्ट अजून कोण आहे ऍबसेंट ज्याचं नाव नव्हतं अजून कोण आहे का असं ओके ओके सो थँक्यू आय डिक्लेअर सेशन इज ओव्हर नाव कॅन यू शेअर पीपीटी ओके आय सेंड यू बाय मेल कॅन यू टेक्स्ट मी दी मेल आय डी ओके आय पुट इट ऑन व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुप डोंट वरी येस सर थँक्यू सर ओके सर थँक्यू सर या ओके अमित थँक्यू हॅलो सर हा आशुतोष हा सर फिफ्टी फोर प्रेझेंट होता त्याच नेट पॅक संपल्यामुळे तो असं बाहेर गेलाय कोण आहे रे बाबा फिफ्टी फोर नाव सांग दिग्विजय चाकू दे त्याची एंट्री नाहीये की रे राजा मायाकड होता सर तो आता लिफ्ट झाला नाही नाही माझ्याकडे ना मी जे सॉफ्टवेअर इन्स्टॉल केलंय ना त्याच्यामध्ये जे कंटिन्यू प्रेझेंट असतात किंवा ऍटलिस्ट थर्टी फोर्टी मिनिट साठी प्रेझेंट असतात त्यांचीच नाव ओके आलंय आलंय की रे दिग्विजय आलंय की नाव आलंय होता तो प्रेझेंट होता हे मशीन मध्ये कळतंय डायरेक्टली काही प्रॉब्लेम नाही येत ओके तू एसीला हे होतस का वाईड होतस का नाही सर एसीला मी बी डिव्हिजन मध्ये होतो एसीला बी डिव्हिजन ला गेलता का सेकंड इयर होत आणि परत थर्ड इयर ला मी वाईड होतो त्यामुळे सरांनी मला ए मध्ये टाकलं म्हणजे बॅक याच्यामध्ये लिंग रिशिकिंग मध्ये लिंग सर फोटो कॉपी 